Sinkholes are one of the scariest natural events on Earth. They happen spontaneously and unexpectedly. Today we're taking a look at the top 15 largest natural sinkholes. Number 15. The Devil's Sinkhole In Rock Springs, Texas, there's a huge cavern carved from the limestone bedrock that's built up such a reputation over the years that it's known as the Devil's Sinkhole. At 400 feet deep, it's the largest opening like this in the state, and is thought to have formed many thousands of years ago when an underground cave in the Edwards Plateau became so large that the ceiling collapsed. Expeditions into the sinkhole have found stalactites and, more interestingly, arrowheads and other artifacts, which suggest it played a significant role in Native American communities, where it's believed holes like these are conduits to the gods and the underworld. More recently, cowboys and cavers used to seek refuge in the sinkhole and etched graffiti into the walls, but now it's mainly known as the home to millions of Mexican free-tailed bats. As the sun begins to set each night, you'll see a few of them flying out to begin their search for food, and then suddenly, a huge mass of hundreds of thousands of them begin to swarm out in one of the most astonishing displays of the natural world that you'll see anywhere in the United States. It's become such a popular sight that access to the sinkhole is now limited to prevent people from interfering with the bat's habitat, but evening flight tours can be arranged to see the phenomenon from above. Number 14. Sari Sarinama In the southwest state of Bolivar in Venezuela, on the border with Brazil, there's a mountain that's long played a role in local folklore, and more recently it's become one of the most geologically interesting features in the region. Known as Cerro Sarasaranama, it gets its name because it was once believed that an evil spirit lived there, that when it ate human flesh, it would make a noise that sounded like Sari Sari. Even to this day, it's remote and mysterious, and it's 35 miles away from the nearest road. The mountain is a tepui, which means it has a flat top and reaches an altitude of up to 7,700 feet, and is covered in thick forest. It was only in 1961 when a plane was flying over the region that a pilot saw a series of strange structures on its summit. Thirteen years later, a research team was airlifted up to take a closer look, and they found four large sinkholes. The largest is called Sima Humboldt, and it's been measured to be at least 1,155 feet wide, 1,030 feet deep, and has produced a unique habitat with a forest at its base, and a number of animal species that aren't found anywhere else. Another one of the holes, called Sima de la Luvia, is 0.8 miles long, and was for 20 years the longest known quartzite cave in the world. It was from exploring this one that researchers believe they found the cause of the sinkholes. There's actually a subterranean river that flows beneath the mountain and has for centuries been carving the rock away from the inside, and could also explain the strange noises heard by locals, which led to the development of the legend in the first place. Number 13. Bima The Bima sinkhole, which is known locally as Hawiya Najim, is a large natural depression in the Muscat governorate of the Sultanate of Oman. It's almost so perfectly spherical that it was believed for a long time to have been formed by a meteor impact, which is why it has the name that means the deep well of the falling star. Recent research has, however, found that it was created when a vast underground cavern collapsed in on itself, and then thousands of years since it has filled up with water and now hosts a stunning turquoise lake. The hole is 164 feet by 230 feet across and is 66 feet to the surface of the water. The lake, though, is more than 300 feet at its deepest, and is now a popular swimming destination, despite being less than a quarter mile from the ocean. To preserve the sinkhole for generations to come, a staircase has been built to grant easy access to it, and there's now a fenced park with food and toilet facilities around it to cater to visitors. Number 12. The Katara Depression Found in the Matra Governorate of northwestern Egypt, the Katara Depression is a huge sinkhole that was formed over thousands of years. It covers an area of around 7,500 square miles, which is about the same size as Lake Ontario, and it's so large that it's difficult to perceive it even when you're standing in it. At a maximum of 436 feet below sea level, it's the second lowest point in Africa, and its floor is covered with sand dunes, salt marshes, and salt pans. It's thought that it was formed by years of salt weathering and wind erosion, and isn't the only structure like this in the region, although it is by far the largest. It's so vast that it's had an impact on recent history in the country. During the Second World War, for example, it was seen as being impassable by tanks, and as such dictated where battles took place along its edges. It still has active minefields to this day. There are also plans to potentially use it to produce electricity because of the depth it reaches. 
the Qatar Depression Project will see a canal built to the area from the Mediterranean Sea, which will create a water flow and can be harnessed by a hydroelectric plant. Because of the high temperatures, the water will evaporate, so it can almost continually pour in and will leave large salt deposits behind, which can also be harvested. Number 11. Shaoxiai Tiankung Shaoxiai Tiankung, which is often called the Heavenly Pit, is located in Chongqing Municipality of China and is currently the largest known natural sinkhole in the world. It's 2,054 feet long, 1,762 feet wide, and up to 2,100 feet deep. It has near-vertical walls and is actually what's known as a double-nested structure. This means that there are actually two caves within it, one on top of the other, that have connected together. The first is 1,050 feet deep, and the second is 1,122 feet deep, and there's been a sloped ledge between them that's made up of sediment that's been left behind by water flows. As with most sinkholes, it was formed by the erosion of the limestone bedrock by an underground river, but it's also a natural valley that collects rainwater, and during the wet season, a waterfall develops that pours into the sinkhole. The underground river still passes through too, and is continually expanding the size of the sinkhole. The site has been known about for thousands of years and has long been associated with rare and unique plant and animal species. It contains, for example, at least 1,200 different plants, and clouded leopards have even been found inside. This has led to it becoming one of the most popular tourist sites in the nearby region. And to facilitate visitors, a massive 2,800-step staircase was built to let you safely walk down into it. Number 10. Dean's Blue Hole when sinkholes are covered by rising oceans, they become a water-filled structure that, because of the deep color associated with the depression, is known as a blue hole. The second deepest one in the world, but the most visited of all, is called Dean's Blue Hole, and it's to the west of Clarence Town on Long Island in the Bahamas. The hole is thought to have been formed during the last ice age when sea levels were much lower, but it's likely to have flooded around 15,000 years ago as the ice began to melt now has a diameter at the entrance of up to 115 feet, and it's a 663-foot drop to the hole's floor. Because of its location and calm, clear waters, Dean's Blue Hole has become a popular destination for freedivers. It's held several world championships and is where the current freediving world record was set in 2010, when William Truebridge reached the depth of 331 feet on a single breath without using fins. While it may appear to be a safe region of water, swimming in Dean's Blue Hole doesn't come without its risks. There have been several fatalities there in the past few decades, which has often been a result of the water's clarity, which means it's easy to swim far deeper than you realize. Number 9. Creveno Jezero Creveno Jezero, which means the Red Lake, is a large sinkhole that can be found near the city of Imotski in Croatia said in local legend to have swallowed the home of a local farmer after breaking a promise to a god, it's the third largest known sinkhole on Earth. What's particularly unusual about it is how high the cliffs are above the lake that's formed below. From ground level, it's a 790-foot drop to the water surface and a further 8 to 900 feet to the floor of the cavern. There's a complicated network of caves within the sinkhole and a series of waterways that drain water into underground rivers. Its name comes from the color of the cliff faces, which are red from the presence of iron oxide in the rock. But the lake itself is of particular interest to researchers because it's home to a rare species of spotted minnow. It was originally believed that the lake was cut off from the outside world, but it was the presence of these minnows in nearby rivers and springs when the lake water levels dropped that first made people suspect that there were tunnels and passages that connect to the surrounding area. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Never Sink Pit The Never Sink Pit in northern Alabama is one of the most photographed sinkholes in the world thanks to its stunning ice sheets during the winter, waterfalls in the spring, and lush fern forests during the summer months. Having formed thousands of years ago, likely during the last ice age, the opening of the pit at the surface is 40 feet wide, but it's more than double that by the time you've descended the 162 feet to the cavern floor. The pit has become one of the more popular destinations in the state for people who want to see nature in action, and steps have been made to preserve its stunning appearance for everyone to see. Most people are only allowed to view it at ground level, for example, and it's only experienced cave divers who have a chance of gaining a permit to actually go inside. As such, there's no easy means of easy access, and the only way to reach the floor of the pit is to rappel all the way down. But once you're there, it's like you've been transported to a long-lost world. 
Even though there are bigger and geographically more interesting sinkholes on Earth, it's the plant species and the small bat population that lives in it. That's why it's undoubtedly one of the most beautiful ones you could ever see. Number 7. Nongo Sinkhole Because of the type of bedrock beneath the surface, China has far more naturally forming sinkholes than any other country in the world. New cavities are continually being found and explored, and one of the most amazing is known as the Nongo Sinkhole and is in the Nongol Mountains of the Guanxi Shuang region in the south of the country. It was only discovered in 2018 and found to be 656 feet long, 328 feet wide, and 387 feet deep. Although if you measure it from the access point to the ridge of the mountain that overlooks it, it's almost 1,500 feet deep. Amazingly, the hole formed after the ceiling of a cavern that was just 13 feet thick collapsed, and due to the huge size of the hollow, it immediately became one of the largest known sinkholes in the world. Investigators were stunned when they first entered it, because they found two huge caves that were connected to each other, with the largest being big enough to fit the Great Pyramid of Giza in twice. The first team of researchers to find the sinkhole were from Hong Kong, so the main hall has been named the Hong Kong Haiting Hall. Scans have been conducted that reveal further caves and subhalls, and its full reach isn't yet known. It's hoped that further expeditions can fully chart the entire cavity and there's a suspicion that it could be connected to a much wider network of caves beneath the mountains that nobody even realized existed. Number 6. The San Rafael Sinkhole Predicting where new sinkholes will open up is a virtual impossibility because we simply don't know where underground cavities are forming and when they might collapse. This means that each one is somewhat of a surprise, and a newly formed one in early 2020 has had far more drastic consequences than most. At more than 500 feet tall, the San Rafael Waterfall was the largest in Ecuador and was one of the most scenic regions on the country's border with Colombia. With tens of thousands of visitors each year, the Colombian government hailed it as a great example of ecotourism. But suddenly, on the 2nd of February 2020, the water stopped flowing over it. Officials were dispatched to the area to find out what had happened, and they discovered to their horror that a huge sinkhole had opened up beneath the river that fed the waterfall, and that all the water was now falling into this hole instead. The main river is now splitting into three smaller ones, and these have formed three new waterfalls nearby. Unfortunately, none of them can be seen from the expensive viewing platforms that had been built around the original. There's debate, too, about quite how this sinkhole was formed. It seems to be because far less sediment is being deposited by the river which means the water has been able to erode further into the bed and connect with a subterranean cavity. Some point the finger at a new hydroelectric plant a few miles upstream, while others believe the sediment has been blocked by a naturally occurring dam that was created by an earthquake several years ago. Number 5. Dragon Hole The Dragon Hole is the largest known blue hole in the world and is around 16 miles south of the Discovery Reef in the Paracel Islands. Technically part of China, although the ownership of the islands are disputed, it's known locally as the Eye of the South China Sea, and was where, according to legend, the Monkey King found his golden cudgel. The hole is believed to have been formed at the same time as the island chain when water levels were much lower and as a result of glacial erosion. It's now 987 feet deep, which is 330 feet deeper than the well-known Dean's Blue Hole in the Bahamas. The Dragon Hole, however, is nowhere near as easily accessible. So rather than being a tourist and diving hotspot, it's become a valuable resource for scientific research. It carves so deep into the ocean floor and protects against normal ocean currents, so it's almost like traveling back in time to see what the world was like during a period in which it was formed. There are, for example, two distinct thermoclines, which are boundaries between different types of water. The first, at a depth of around 60 feet, marks the transition between warm water and cold stagnant water, while the second, at a depth of up to 500 feet, is where the transition to water that's been undisturbed for thousands of years can be found. Number 4. Dicetta Sinkhole The town of Dicetta, Texas, has a troubled history when it comes to sinkholes, and is the place that's been most struck by the phenomena in the whole of the U.S. The reason for this is that it's actually built on top of a natural salt dome, which formed hundreds of thousands if not millions of years ago, when a lake that was once in the region dried up. This means the ground is extremely vulnerable to being eroded away by water and has led to several large sinkholes in the past few decades. In 1969, a large hole opened up to the surprise of everyone living there, and it collapsed even further in 1981 to form a large hole which now has a lake at the bottom of it. The presence of the water inside the hole has led to it gradually growing ever since and is now 250 feet wide and 30 feet deep. 
As it increases in size, it's created an instability elsewhere too, and is believed to have been contributing factor to another sinkhole that opened up in 2008. This one, known as the Sinkhole de Mayo, because of the date when it collapsed, has also been linked with human activity in the area, and is now much larger than the others at 600 feet long, 525 feet wide, and 150 feet deep. With this ever-present risk, it's no surprise that people have been moving away from Dicetta since the first hole opened up, and the once thriving town now has a population of just over 900 people. Number 3. Berezniki The city of Berezniki is in the Russian Ural Mountains, and is unusual in the way that it was built directly above a vast potash mine. This was actually standard practice during the Soviet era, because it ensured the workers in the mine could live as close as possible to where they were needed. But long after the mine itself is closed, the consequences of this decision can still be seen. To retrieve the material from the ground, huge underground caverns were dug out, and in the process huge pillars and walls were left in place to support the ground above. The problem, though, was that the material these supports were made from was mainly soluble salt, and in subsequent years this has slowly been eroded away by natural groundwater, around 1,500 feet below the surface. One by one, these supports have collapsed and resulted in the formation of huge sinkholes in the city. The largest, known as the Grandfather, is more than 1,300 feet across and 650 feet deep. And when it opened up, it submerged a number of buildings underwater and very nearly destroyed the only rail line into the area. The potash mines are still active and account for as much as 10% of the world's supply. There's a real risk, though, that unpredictable natural forces will eventually cause the entire thing to collapse, and the whole city will be lost within the giant sinkhole that will almost inevitably form. Number 2. The Umferston Sinkhole Sinkholes are often seen as scars or blights on the surrounding landscape, but there's one in Australia that's very different, known as the Umferston Sinkhole. It was first discovered on Mount Gambier in 1945. To begin with, it provided a vital source of water to local communities, and even facilitated the construction of a town nearby. But by the 1890s, the area had been turned into a nature reserve, and the hole itself was turned into a landscape garden. The project was spearheaded by James Umferston, and saw trees and shrubs planted in the hole, along with gas lamps and seating areas so visitors could relax. While the floor in the cave isn't accessible, the sinkhole is open for scenic walks, and there's a viewing platform that allows you to look down into the hole. During wet weather, waterfalls develop where water drains into the vast cave, and it's the changing face of the sinkhole throughout the seasons that's led to it being one of the most popular destinations in the region for more than a century. Number 1. The Great Blue Hole Of all the blue holes in the world, perhaps the most stunning is the Great Blue Hole, which is around 40 miles off the coast of Belize. Formed during the last ice age, it's 1,043 feet across and 407 feet deep, and it's full of structures like large stalactites and stalagmites. The hole was made famous in the 70s by Jacques Cousteau, who declared it to be one of the greatest dive sites in the world. His original expedition found that the hole was formed in four distinct stages, and that it was also created in part by a tectonic shift. Ever since this first trip, the Great Blue Hole has been of interest to researchers, and in 2018, two submersibles were sent down that performed precise 3D scans of the entire structure. While it offers lots to the scientific community, it remains a hugely popular dive site and is host to a wealth of marine species thanks to the protection it offers from prevailing currents. Midnight parrotfish and other reef fish can be regularly seen there, as can various different species of sharks, such as reef sharks, hammerheads, and bull sharks. It's certainly a challenging dive and requires a full day trip from Belize to make the most of, but seeing the Great Blue Hole for yourself is an experience you'll surely never forget. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.